Are you doing it, CJ? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alison? No <laughs> the big question is whether I'm going to do it or not. Well, it is day four of this trip. We're going to Aberridey Beach, which is a recommendation from a couple we met in the pub last night. And I genuinely can't think of the names now, but they, I didn't tell them about Caddy Boys anyway, so it's not like they'll watch. But apparently there's a blue lagoon here and you can jump off the rocks into said blue lagoon. Now I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Alison might. CJ has already volunteered for content's sake. He said he'd do it for the content. I've checked it out on Google Maps. It's 41 minutes away from where we're at to stay in. So I thought we'd go and give it a look. Everyone else has gone home today. Oh, it's just us intrepid expeditioners. Right, we're at Aberridey Beach. I'm sure I'm saying that completely wrong, but we're gonna go and find the Blue Lagoon now. The view is absolutely insane. Because the uh, beach car park was closed, now we're gonna see how far away we are and what this hill is like. Now it's all right going down, but you've got to remember that we've got to come back up this. Oh, that looks steep. Oh, there's a dead seal. Oh no, it's not, it's just seaweed. Look at it all. Yeah, we've been well mugged off because it said car park full. So we had to park all the way at the top of that hill and we've come down here now and we could definitely get into this car park. So that is a ploy, a marketing ploy to stop us coming down here. Absolute joke. I am sweating, me. Fuck, smell so much. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, look at it. No way. That's sick. Is she really? Oh, that's a slap. That's crazy. Are they going to jump off the very top one? Yeah. Oh, he's gone off the very top. Yes. Oh, lad. out for about 15 minutes. I've been standing in waiting. You doing it, CJ? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Alison? Nope. <laughs> the big question is whether I'm going to do it or not. Just jumped off that there. She did. Can't wait this. See those kids there? Unfortunately, we film there. That's what I jumped off. Not the top bit. He's the top bit there. No, I can't go over there again. Okay, then what? I can't go over there again. But it's off his head. It's gone off way over here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's gone way in. Yeah. Look at that air. It's in to know. Mental. That was uh, Aberridi, the Blue Lagoon. That a couple in the pubs told us about last night. And I'm well, we're well pleased we came. It was, it was proper good. We managed to jump off the edge, didn't we? Yes, mate. Me and we CJ. Off it. We managed to jump off. Alison didn't get me jumping off, but there's, there's footage of CJ <laughs> jumping off. I could do the big one though, that was too scary. Though. No, that I wouldn't have. Maybe next time. Yeah. It's warmer. A bit warmer, but. Oh, gets you. Yeah, but we jumped off the middle bit, and uh, CJ's got some. In fact, I'll put the footage of CJ jumping off now. Um, but 
there was no footage of me jumping off because I stood there for too long panicking and getting nervous about it but what a what a little GM of a find that is we'll have to come back here and there's a car park where you can park right at the bottom and you don't have to walk as far as we've got to walk now we're going to this little pub now where the landlady is a did, it, did Nicky say she was is it 90s yeah. yes. Oldest landlady in Wales. Oldest landlady in Wales. She's like 90 odd year old. And I'm sure Nikki said like she serves your beer through a hatch. Through a hatch. I think she just scoops it up in a cup and then passes it you. It's over the mountain from where the campsite is. So we're going to try and find that place and see if we can uh, taste her wares. Hopefully she's still alive. Now there's no going back. <laughs> oh, this brings back PTSD. Oh, he's gonna get killed, him. <laughs> oh, you cheeky bugger! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you cheeky get? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Look. Oh, it's biting. Whoa, whoa, put it down. Well, try to get me out. <laughs> it's getting your dry rope back. We've just come over to find this uh, <laughs> pub, and then we've got some cows. They're not moving. That are just not moving. That one's a baby bull. Oh my days. <laughs> Where's it going? Oh. Big goggers. Please don't make it jump there because it'll smack my... <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. I'm going to slap it. She's always wanted to slap another. <laughs> she has, hasn't she? That's crazy. That they just sat there like that. <laughs> oh my god. Hello there. Hello. Hi. You okay then? Yep. Um, just three pints of. Uh, Pass, please. Hi. You know? <laughs> you, have, you have to keep your glasses, okay? And you have to bring them back to the bar, okay? Okay. So there's carnival there today, and I don't want to find them down the field because I haven't got day. I am going time to the bar. No, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Bring your glasses back. Absolutely, we will. We will do, yeah. I can recover them for you if you like, but yeah, just keep your glasses, okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. No, that's everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers then, enjoy your drink. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you now. Sit up there. Yeah. They're all laughing at us. They're all gonna laugh at you! <laughs> Cheers. What's well, wrong? Me, that is one of the most disgusting things I've ever tasted in my life. Taste of horse. I've not tasted, tasted horse, so I don't know who it's like. If you licked a horse, that is how they taste. See if we can get a white tash. Oh right, you smashed it. Yeah. This hasn't been the most successful mission, but I mean, we've, we've been here. We didn't see the old lady though either. No, but she can leave her live passes if we want another. Oh. Probably dare fucking take anywhere else but there. How much you divide? Ten into three. <laughs> <laughs> it must be three pound thirty three we could earn. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just glad you haven't got smell of vision on here because Sorry, that is terrible. That's so stale. You're in that. It's ridiculous. 
Right, this is it now. We're drinking this up and we're getting out of here because like I said, this is how every horror film starts. There's no signal, there's a scary pub. I've seen The World's End. I've seen Shaun of the Dead. I've seen that Dog Soldiers. Any film with Simon Pegg, this is how it starts. And we've got no signal. We've gone off two recommendations today. A random person that we met in the pub told us to go to the Blue Lagoon. Wicked. The person who we've known for seven years told us to go to this pub and absolutely fucking terrified. So we're going to get back in the car and we're going to get out of here quick. Thank you. See ya. Get in the fucking van, I'll lock the doors. Oh my God. Oh my god, fuck me. Well, I am definitely having a conversation with Nikki when I get back there. And I'm gonna say, don't you ever ever suggest anywhere. I'm not a fan of bass. Like, I'm not a fan of bass or bass. I'm also not a fan of the scariest fucking road. Going to a place where there's literally no signal. That was too scary. I don't even think, I don't know. it didn't even feel like we went back in time to me. What it felt like for me is, I mean, this is even scary. What it felt like for me is that we didn't go back in time. We was in another fucking dimension. That carnival, <laughs> they were just running. They, had, they brought their own mountain bikes to do a little weird racing. That was the weirdest. I'm sorry, Wales people, if you're watching this and I, and I like Wales. And, but that is, this is probably one of the weirdest part of Wales I've ever been. I can't explain the feeling unless you're in it, but it was like a proper, like there was an aura of unwelcoming, wasn't there? There was like, yeah, and murder. Harvesting. Yeah, harvesting organs. And, right, we'll go back to the pizza stop and then we'll be back at the uh, campsite. It is the last night. We're all very sad, but we're all very tired. It's only about, what time is it? 10 o'clock? I think I'm, I'm virtually ready for bed because we've got to be up early in the morning, pack up and then get off the site for about nine o'clock in the morning. It's six, six hours drive home, so we'll catch you probably in the morning. Yeah, so it's our uh, last morning. We're gonna be setting off shortly. Just sort of bring Roxy down to the beach to have a bit of a walk around because She's going to be in the car for a couple of hours now. She loves the soft sand, Roxy. Oh. Just digging up to have a piss. Yeah, it's wicked here. I love it here. Come every bank holiday. Use it on the bikes, but this time we've had to uh, come in the car. But this estuary, we, we used to be able to um, kayak all up it. All up the side there. But now we can't, since Covid, they've stopped doing it, so it's a bit, a bit of a shame. But they also hold a boat race from this place every year, which is also good. Loads of fun, it's like a Red Bull boat race, so that's, that's class. They go for a quick walk on the beach and then and back to the caddy, pack up and then uh, box for Oscar. Yeah, so I'll catch up with you back in the caddy. Them laugh. They're not laughing at that. <laughs> Fucking wasp. I felt the absolute panic on my face as it come in. It was just there at the door and I was like... <laughs> Alright man, take it easy. Alright Kelly boys and girls, that is the end of another camp out. It wasn't actually a caddy camp out really, it was just a camp out. Oh, I didn't put any air in my tyres.
but that is the end of another one. Um, we are going home. It's four and a half hours drive home. However, I'm still crowned the king of Wales. Aren't I? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's a shame to leave my kingdom behind and to... Uh, and to readjust back into normal life. I'm gonna miss all the perks and benefits that come with being a king. Like being able to demand certain people are beheaded and things like that. Basically anyone who cuts me up or, or use correct uh, road craft. So I'm gonna miss that, but I'm kind of happy to get back to uh, a dry house camping is decent as long as the weather's decent when it's wet and rainy then why are these just in the ramblers are getting up there with cyclists at the minute just walking in the middle of the road walking two abreast in the middle of the road there needs to be a new revision of the highway code where car drivers have right away but anyway yeah, so it's uh, a nice four and a half hour drive home. We're in our dry robes because it was hanging when we were packing up, wasn't it? Yeah. CJ's on his motorbike and uh, I absolutely do not regret coming down in the caddy now. This is a usual motorbike trip, as, I've, as I mentioned before. And, at, you know, at some point you can be a little bit, oh, you know, the nostalgia of it being a motorbike trip, but... After the weather we've experienced, I'm uh, really glad we came down in the caddy. And it's proved itself again as a little micro camper. It's done everything that we've asked of it. We've been able to drive around and see different things and go to different places. Probably places where I wouldn't have been able to go if I would have gone with a crafter or, you know, maybe even a T5. Especially driving through some of these narrow, narrow roads. But it's been another good one. And we should be out away this weekend again. We are hopefully going over to VW Action on Friday after work. So if you've, uh, well, this will go out after that anyway. So look out for that video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Caddy Boys and Girls. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed actually being on the camp and experiencing it all. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, which is more than likely going to be the VW Action one. Take it easy. Bye. That, yeah, perfect. That's more like it.